Two of the most wonderful landmarks in Dallas are now celebrating 10 years in the books, Clyde Warren Park and the Perot Museum. This story focuses on the latter and the woman in charge, leading the museum into the future, and she hopes to continue opening doors for every bright young mind in DFW. Hello. Are you here to see dinosaurs? Dr. Linda Silver never gets tired of making sure the one million guests who pass through the Perot Museum each year feel welcomed at the place that has become her second home. Super. Have fun, you guys. Thank you. What do you think they walk away with feeling about the Perot Museum once they gain some exposure to it? I think that most people walk away thinking that they learned something, that they learned something of value, but probably more importantly, that they had a great, memorable experience. It's about making those memories. So many people have made wonderful memories at the Perot Museum since it was completed 10 years ago. As the CEO since 2017, Dr. Silver's primary focus is to help the museum's impact grow in the DFW community and beyond. I get to come downstairs to exhibit halls like this and see kids whose curiosity is just sparked. Sparked by the 11 permanent exhibition halls where they get to experience everything from the fossils that made up our universe of millions of years ago to the Lamar Hunt Family Sports Hall where heart and adrenaline will definitely be racing. What has also created a spark is the museum making its way out into the community as opposed to hoping the entire community makes its way inside the museum. That assures that everyone gets a piece of the pie. They're going to have an opportunity to pick and choose what they want to learn about and go as deep or as shallow as they want. For Dr. Silver, that wasn't a choice. Diving deep into her love for science, technology, engineering, and math, known as STEM, it's been a part of her whole life. Prior to the Perot Museum, she worked and lived with her family for seven years in Abu Dhabi. The government of Abu Dhabi recruited me to come and help them develop their informal science education platform. And what they looked at was the data, mostly out of the West, that says the single biggest predictor for somebody going into a career in science and technology is not their grades or how they test or what their parents did. It's their interest in science measured between 6 years old and 11 years old. That's where you've really got to be able to invest. Knowing all the young minds in DFW can one day be at the forefront. That's why the Perot family invested millions in making the museum a Dallas landmark. That's why legends like Mav's great Dirk Nowitzki and his wife Jessica are such big supporters. Helping kids understand this field can be a game changer. One thing that we know about Dallas and about Texas in general is that the need for STEM workers is growing at twice the rate it is in the rest of the country. We also think Dallas can become one of the most diverse STEM workforces in the country, and that's what excites me. So it starts high and goes low. Uh, Just like a musical scale. <laughs> one step at a time. Dr. Linda Silver can put a bow on the Perot Museum's 10th birthday. She can also look ahead to the next 10 years of helping young people realize there's a world of possibilities, regardless of race, gender, or money. And she's the ultimate example. I am the first person in my family, my extended family, to ever attend college. Um, and so I think I'm proud of being here. Um, with given that background and it's all about being welcoming and people feeling like they belong in a space and we really believe that the pro museum and that science is for everyone dr silver she has an amazing story you just heard her she's the first to attend college in her extended family she got her undergrad degree from ucla masters from pepperdine doctorate from usc post doctorate from harvard <laughs> her favorite quote and this applies to all kids no one flunks oh, museums. I love that. And the Perot Museum is just so incredible. You know, I took my 10 year old nephew when they were here last time, and just to see his face and how interested in all the projects that he is, they're really making an impact on kids' lives. You know, they have so much to offer. And I did ask her, you know, and I'll quickly uh, say this I said, Hey, what do you say to people who think you have to be some super intellect for all the young kids who maybe are intimidated? She said, All you need to do is walk in. Yep. You walk in, 
you learn a little something. It's not about how smart you are or how smart you think you are. Everybody has the potential to learn. Including the adults. I learned a lot at that museum, too. It's true. <laughs> forget, don't forget about the big kids.